Did you know that 60 to 80% of your target audience that you're spending a ton of money to be able to get them to pay attention to your business are not gonna buy from you the first time, the second time, the third time, even five to 10 times on multiple different touch points. The question is how do you start that communication process with them and have them ultimately turn into customers and clients in your business? That buy more from your business, that refer more people to your business, how do you get that process started? That's what I'll be sharing with you today is how you can basically start that whole process by having them come to you and be able to indoctrinate them so that they be able to convert them into lifelong customers. It's not enough that you're only able to convert the three to 5% that are actively looking for you and be able to solve their problem or achieve a result. How do you maximize on the 60 to 80% that are not buying from you today? YouTube community, first thing I want you to do is I want you to comment below, let me know how are you dealing with the 60 to 80% that don't buy from me the first time and multiple different touch points. How are you starting that communication process with them? Or any questions or insights that you have, comment below as you're watching this video. The second thing I want you to do is I wanna make sure you stay until the end of this video because even though it's short, there's gonna be a expanded full walkthrough step-by-step -step post on my website that's gonna share with you how you can solve this biggest problem in your business. Now, one of the things that you don't know is that every single year we generate $100 million for our clients. But whenever we sit down with a client, the first thing that we do is we focus on where is the revenue coming from? We understand how long did it take for them to convert their target audience? What's the process that they have in place to be able to convert the people that are on their specific communication channels? Then we can measure and understand, are they coming from the three to 5% that are actively aware of their needs, they wanna solve their problem or achieve a result, and they have urgency. Or, for example, they're the 60 to 80% that aren't aware of their needs, there's a lot of noise, they don't have the urgency, they have multiple different types of things that they can do, and it's just not relevant to them at this time. But, they understand that eventually, for a business that starts the communication process with them early, indoctrinates, that 60 to 80% adds value, will eventually win in the end because the target audience will only think about that business when they want to buy their product or service, or more specifically, when they want to solve a problem and achieve a result in their business. And that's what I want to share with you. The first thing that we want to do, the strategy number one, to be able to understand how to maximize on 60 80% is to understand your current customers and clients. All the transactions, all the conversions that you have, we want to understand where are they coming from, how long did it take for you to be able to convert them into a customer, and that whole time process. The way we do that is twofold. We want to look at your CRM and we want to look at your automation or marketing automation platform combined with whatever analytical platform that you have that you're tracking revenue. So we want to see the breakdown of three to five percent, the breakdown of the 60 to 80 percent. If you're not doing this now, you can implement this, is we want to see when someone enters into your world before they buy, before they start that communication with you, in the first month, how long is it taking them to be able to convert when they enter and start the communication? When they join your email list, when, they have, when they're joining your messenger list, when they're on their text messaging platform, what specific, well, how long is it taking you to convert them? Is it taking one month? Is it taking two months, three months, six months, one year? What you want to do is you also want to interview your best customers and clients to understand what is it looking like for them to be able to buy from you. What change in their life or what change in the world to be able to start that communication with you or even spend their hard-earned money. You want to understand that. Once you understand that, then we can actually intentionally use what they give you, your target audience, and purposely put it out there through the indoctrination process. The second thing that we want to do is that's important is we want to make sure that we have the communication channel set up to indoctrinate them and warm them up as they become a lead. Because as I mentioned, the 60-80%, they will not buy from you right now and they might not buy in the next few months and maybe the next few years. But eventually, when their time comes to have their need, they aware their need, they want to solve a problem or achieve a result and it's urgent for them, to take action, then they're gonna think about you. We wanna make sure we set them up so that at that time, they're gonna be able to buy from you. And the way we do that is gonna be threefold. We wanna make sure the communication channels that we use, you can use email, you can use the marketing automation platform, Infusionsoft, ActiveCampaign, HubSpot. The second thing we can do is use Messenger on the Facebook messaging platform, using ManyChat, using all these other chatbot building types of platforms, but ManyChat's the one I recommend. The third one is using a texting platform which is really powerful and intimate when you were using texting as well. You can use Yeti text or you can use fixerfunnel.com to be able to build these texting platforms and communication with your target audience. So at the top, what we wanna do is we wanna have your specific email and your messenger. So you wanna use messenger and email as the regular communication channels. As time goes on, when it's ready for them to convert, we wanna use texting to be able to convert them and move them down the funnel 
or move them down the process to be able to get them to buy from your product or your service. Now, the three core marketing indoctrinations that we want to have to be able to convert that 60 to 80% and warm them up. So when it comes time for them to consider buying your product or service, they're gonna think about you and your brand. First thing we wanna do is called the welcome indoctrination. Now the welcome indoctrination is gonna be focused on how do we indoctrinate them with the values? How do we welcome them into your process, into your world? And how do we associate that and build that resonance with them the first touch? Because the first impression, as they say, is the most important. But what we wanna do is we wanna focus on just that one top of the funnel layer using email or messenger. And what we wanna do is we wanna share with them three core things. The first thing is, what is your business about? Why do you exist? What are the values that are the most important and how can they uh, tie to your specific target audience? Your audience cares about who they buy from. So you wanna make sure you establish your values, your company values that matters to your target audience. That's the first thing. The second thing we will focus on is we wanna indoctrinate them with value and assets that help them solve a problem or help them achieve a result. It directly in the welcome sequence, but that's what we wanna do. We wanna provide them some value. Either that be through videos or either that be through content, whatever it is, you can use it to your target audience. The third thing you wanna do is you wanna bridge that with your existing community. You wanna talk about what is the community that you're building? Who is the target audience that you're surrounding yourselves with and how have you helped the existing customers or clients that you have? What are they saying about your business? Those are the three important basically messaging or themes that you wanna have in the welcome sequence, the welcome indoctrination. You wanna indoctrinate them with those three things. The second thing that we wanna have is you want to have a long-term engagement sequence. The long-term engagement sequence is focused on, for the 68% that don't convert, every single week, and you can set this up as a timeline, I recommend one week, you send them a relevant message or an update that they can get interested into, and it keeps them up to date on what's happening with your business. This isn't something that you send like a newsletter or some kind of update or a special sale. This is just specifically done to keep them on an interesting specific thing that you're doing in the business. For example, you can share a video about how you're building the community or an interesting project that you're working on or a specific thing that you have within the business, uh, another customer or client testimonial or a story that you can share or, happy, or the successes and the failures that's happening in the business. That goes to another thing, the transparency that you're sharing with your target audience. You wanna make it as personal as possible because one of the things that when someone sees your business, they focus on just the business level. You wanna make sure that the business is seen as almost like a person. So that's how you do it through the communication process. The third thing that's important is the segmentation sequence. Now a segmentation sequence is gonna be focused on how do we segment your target audience based on what they're coming for your business for. Either the problem, the result, or different types of segments that are unique to your audience. So to give you a tangible example, for example, you go on wartrain.com, you're able to see that they segment it based on the beginner or experienced trader. Because they know that within the target audience, there are people that are new and there are people that are experienced already. So that's where they experience and personalize the journey for your target audience. The YouTube community, I want you to comment below. Let me know what's one insight or question that you gained from this specific video. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to like this video and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And also, as promised, there's going to be a expanded post on eventsum.com. It's going to walk you through step by step how to actually implement this and maximize on the 60 to 80 percent that aren't buying from your business through multi-step communication processes. And the exact emails that you need to have, it's gonna be available on the website. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.